Robinson, first of all, what was your reaction to knowing you would be a three-time All-Star and this will be the second time you can actually play in the game? Well, you know, uh, I wanna, first I want to thank God for that. And uh, second, I want to thank all my fans and uh, people that were not only for Robinson Cano, you know, for all the players who made this day so special for everyone. And also, you know, you always dream to be there. And uh, you go, you go, I went first time, didn't play. I went second time, I really had a lot of fun. And those are kind of stuff that you you know, go in those season, work hard. Those are kind of things that you want to go. So that's the, those are kind of good memories that you take home with you and you can tell your kids about the experience. Is there someone or something you most look forward to in terms of the All-Star game itself? Well, you know what? In the past, my, you know, somebody I would like to meet and uh, it was holiday. And I mean, right now, just looking forward to spend time with guys, which we're going to have guys that make it for the first time. And you know what? It's the only time you have in your life. You can be with a, around, you know, a lot of guys from different teams, which is good. You get to know everyone, and you can make friends from there. Roy Halliday? Yeah. Ha have you met him? Yeah, I met him, I met him in La, uh, La Sosa game. La, okay. Yeah, and then. What was he like? I mean, great person, nice, quiet, so hum very humble. Did he give you any tips? <laughs> no. <laughs> You know, I didn't ask anything. I just want to say hi to him, and and then also I get a chance to meet him when I get a toast of the, of the town. Yeah, I talk to him there. You say hi, and uh, you know those are the kind of guys that you would really want to meet. Work hard, respect the game, and uh, those are the kind of people you want to follow. Tell me how excited you are to take part in the home run derby with your buddy David Ortiz uh, as the captain of that team. Well, it's really, it's really, it's really sad. I mean, it's a really huge emotion. He can really, he can even explain, cause you know what's the key you was that thing. I mean, back in the days, Sammy Sosa, King Griffey. I mean, you used to watch those guys. Oh, wow, who like to be there one day? And uh, cause most of the part, you just want to go there and have fun. I mean, if you win it, perfect. But you just want to go there and have fun. And now, you know, it's gonna be like a dream come true for me. What will your approach be? I mean, you have, you literally have to try to hit a home run every swing. Well, I mean, the approach is gonna be the same one. You know, I just gonna go out there. I put in mind that I wanna hit it out of the ball, but I just. I just want to go there, and make a good swings, and have fun. Adrian Gonzalez is part of that team, as are Ortiz and, and Jose Batista. I'm wondering with Adrian Gonzalez, he's also a lefty, and he's a guy who really studies the game. I know you study the game. Will you talk baseball with a guy like that and what he looks for and how he approaches the game? Will you take time to do that? Yeah, of course. I mean, those are the kind of guys you want to share, share information and why, why make them so successful in the game. And uh, that's how you learn. You learn by asking guys that have been in the game for a long time and guys that uh, always got great numbers. Kevin Long says that he thinks you're such a mature hitter now that he doesn't worry about a home run derby affecting you when you come back. Do you appreciate that, that, that you're at that level now where, where he won't worry? He knows that you can go have fun in the derby and come back and be the same hitter you've been, which has been terrific, of course. Yeah, I mean, I mean, especially for the guy like him that everybody loves, everybody knows. He's, he's got to be right now the best hitting coach in the game. And, you know, what? coming from him, because, you know, here they ask him how, what he thinks. And, you know, coming from him, that's mean how much I'm sure. And, uh, I mean, I'm looking forward. Robbie, people also talk about you're becoming a leader in this clubhouse. And I think it was really apparent over the last three weeks or so with Eduardo Nunez. And I'm wondering what leadership did you show to him in terms of advice or the way, I, we all know the way you play the game, but maybe something on the field that you tried to help him with, especially if, if he had an error or something like that. How did you try to help Eduardo? Well, I just trying to pass, you know, the young kid, the same thing that the guys passed to me, like Jeter, Aira, Mariano, Posada. That, you know what, well, you, you make a mistake, you don't want to let it happen again. Just learn from there, keep your head up. I mean, you want to play 162 games, game, you want to make mistake. And uh, those are the kind of things you got to learn from then. That's, that's how you're going to learn this game quick. You know, learning and asking. I mean, you never be, got to be afraid to ask. I mean, good thing for him that he got me here. There's anything I can ask the big guys and tell him, listen, got to do this or that. And also I tell him to prepare himself to play maybe twice a week, once a week. Because you know what? That's what you got here. You know, and don't, 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 don't tell I want to play because I get three hits today. Just get your hits. Whenever you get a chance, do your job, and that's what's going to keep you in the game. You never know when the day going to come. It's almost the all-star break. What do you look forward to doing individually in the second half? We all know last year you were right in the heart of that MVP race. What do you say to yourself that you can do when the second half starts? 
Well, I want to keep the same approach. Just, you know, I go to the play, swing good pitch, and uh, help the team to make it to the playoff. And uh, hopefully, I mean, we can win a World Series again. Robbie, thanks so much. Have fun next week at the All-Star Game. We'll be watching that derby, all right? Thank you, and also I want to thank again all the fans that bought for me. Thank you.